you can. Um, well, be careful. We'll, I'll, I'll explain. I'll go through it again. So on this problem, we looked at it if we want to do substitution. All right? And substitution, I'd be careful on doing substitution because remember, the first thing we look for substitution is if a variable had a coefficient, remember the variable in front of the, uh, the number in front of the variable of 1 or negative 1. Well, since we don't have a coefficient of 1 or negative 1, substitution, it's still possible, is going to be a little bit more difficult to algebraically work through. So let's look through elimination. Now, by using elimination, we either want to manipulate it or look to see if we have the exact same variables. So do we, I'm sorry, not variables, but coefficients. So we do we have the same, exact same coefficients for any of those variables? Yeah, yeah. yeah for C. C, right? Now, are they positive and negative? No. no. Well, this one's positive and this one's positive, right? No. Yes? Yeah. So here's my thinking, guys. If you were to go back through like we did last problem, and if you were to add them, remember the whole idea. Can you turn that back down, like facing down? If we were going to turn that down, if you added 3c plus 3c, are you going to get 0c? Are you going to eliminate it? No, you have to make one of those negative, right? Or rather than making one of them negative, could we also just subtract the equations? Yeah. Please put that on. I don't want you to look at it. It's going over this. So what I'd like you guys to do is when you have the exact same equations and they're both the same value, either positive or negative, um, or both positive or both negative, just subtract the equations. So 3c minus 3c is 0c. Negative 2d minus 4d is negative 60. 2 minus 50 is negative 48. Well, here's the important thing. If, like I said, if you added it, you would get 6c plus 2d equals 52. Well, what are you going to solve for? You, you didn't help yourself out anymore, right? You can't solve for one of those variables because you still have another variable in the equation. But when I eliminated a variable, you can see now I only have one variable to solve for. You see how that helps you out? Yes, or I'll show you a way how you can always add it. Yes? I forgot about asking. OK, let me go and finish off the rest of the video, and you guys can see. So then I solve for negative, or I solve for d by dividing a negative d out. And therefore, I get d equals positive 8. Now I plug that back into the equation. So you plug that in. It doesn't matter. Cody, which one do you want to plug it into, the top or the bottom equation? So you plug it into the bottom equation. So you do 3c plus 4 times 8 equals 50. So therefore, you get 3c plus 32 equals 50. Subtract 32. You get 3c equals 28. Divide by 3. 18. Thank you. Therefore, c equals 6. So your solution. Your solution is D equals 8, C equals 6. So is there ever going to come a time that we have to use elimination? Uh, no, you can use elimination or substitution either way. Yes, but hold on. Let me go and explain something real quick. What if you guys don't want to subtract? How do you decide when to add or subtract? Well, first of all, it's easiest to add when, there's, when they're the same value, but one's positive, one's negative. However, you can subtract. However, guys, you can get rid of subtraction if what if I just multiplied everything times that negative 1? Then you could add them. Do 3c minus 2d equals 2. And then if I multiplied all this by negative 1, I, would have, I could add them now because I'd have a negative 3c minus 4d equals negative 50. So if you multiply the bottom equation by negative 1, do you now have a positive and a negative? Yeah, so you can just add them up. Well, yeah, let's look at it when we add them. We get 0c minus 6d equals negative 48. Negative d equals negative 48. It's the exact same of what I had here. It's just a different way of doing it. So if you always like adding, you don't like subtracting, multiply one equation. If you have the same number with the same value, multiply one equation by a negative 1 all the way across, and then get that. All right? 
啊？ Well, then you get—I mean—you're going to get the same answer. No, it doesn't matter. But you got to make sure that they have one's positive, one's negative. So if they're both positive, you got to make sure they either subtract or you multiply by a negative number and then add them. Okay. Huh?